Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 9 with me, Full Symmetry, and today I have a big, big plan. We're going to start off the episode though with something you may have been missing. It's been a long while, but I have a feeling a prank might be on our hands. Well, that doesn't usually happen. Uh, Azuma's just joined. And, uh, is he here? I have no idea. If he is, he's probably asleep right now. We probably shouldn't allow him to catch us. I kind of don't want him to know who's done this prank straight away. So hopefully he'll see it before my video goes out. But yes, this is where the prank is going to be happening. I'm scooping out of the area. And maybe, maybe this morning isn't the time to do it. We'll, we'll have to maybe come back to it later. But I actually need to head off anyway. Because uh, I need the resources for this. And uh, we're going to have to go on a little bit of a shopping spree. So let's hope I have enough diamonds for this. I probably should have. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty simple one to get done. So let's do it. Well, we're going to be needing some of this, some of these as well. And of course, there's a zombie that's interrupting. How very dare you. A teeny tiny amount of red, which I'm going to have to make some more of. And we're going to be needing a stack of this, which is one diamond per stack. Nice. And 11 stacks of black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 diamonds. Thank you very much for vintage beef. But now the prank can go ahead, although... Not while he's online, which is going to be a bit painful. So, <laughs> hmm, we might be waiting a while. Oh, and almost one other thing I forgot. I kind of want to get some axolotls for this. This is like an unnecessary detail, but it's one that I wish to add uh, instead of squid. Uh, so another clue as to what we're building here. Uh, the original half squid. We're going to use axolotls because we're 1. Dot, what? 1.18.2? 1. 1.19 almost? Um, and axolotls are in the game now, so let me try and find some. They're down here somewhere. There is a bit of a lush biome somewhere down here. I've just got to find it. I think it's through here. And we'll capture four or five of them and use them in the design also. Huzzah! And we've found them. Right, let's get it, grabbing them. Come here, little axolotls. Oh my goodness, that scared the life out of me. I heard a foot footstep and that was terrifying. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Why is Minecraft still so scary? Well, now that Azuma's gone, the world is loading very slowly. And we're prepared with all of our items. I want you guys to get to the comments and let me know during this time lapse if you know where the idea of the prank came from. And if you get it, you win a, pri a prize. You, you No, you know what? You know what you win. You win a Zimmer frame <laughs> with how old you must be. Uh, I'm, I'm also old in Minecraft terms, I guess. And I say that because this thing we're building is inspired by something from 2013. How long ago? That was that was ages ago. That was years ago. That was a long, long while ago. And for the rest of you, I guess you're going to have to wait to the end to work out and be told what this thing is inspired by. It's going to be a bit random for you otherwise. But yeah, let's go ahead and roll that time lapse. And there it is, in all of its glory. Yes, if you didn't quite realise, this is actually a Season 2, Huntcraft Season 2, related prank. Uh, because I thought Azuma would probably appreciate it. I, in hindsight, the glasses are a little smaller than I should have done them. I probably should have made them bigger. But I don't actually have any lime wool left, left over. I actually used a full stack. 
and the rest is gone. Uh, the one thing I haven't done yet is filled these with water with axolotls as well. I need to go grab some water. I've only got one bucket uh, to do that. Uh, but uh, I'll, let, I'll let Azuma show you that part, assuming he, uh, he checks them out in detail. But yes, there's headphones uh, with an X on them with a specific color scheme and a specific color scheme for the glasses too. Uh, if you didn't quite realize, this is in fact a base by Monkey Farm, who was a hermit back in season two. Um, and yeah, he built basically a giant skull in the spawn. It's pretty iconic. I, d I don't know what else I, I would mention as being a big iconic thing in season two. I mean, there are a few things, but I feel like this is like, pretty top of the list but yes uh hopefully azim will appreciate this it's not the classic prank it's quite old school i guess uh but let's hope he appreciates it i i think he will out of anybody i feel like azim would appreciate an old school prank so gg and in hindsight uh living living so close to him just behind those mountains uh might be a bad idea for retaliation purposes it, it could be dangerous living there i haven't thought this through have i Oh dear. Anyway, we'll worry about that uh, another time. But for now, we must expand the base because uh, this is currently all we have uh, right here. And it's it's large, but it's it's like not large enough. You know, you know, I feel like it needs to get a little bit uh, wider in particular because I'm not happy with this. I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it this width, but I think since we're going to be going up to about there, I want to widen this a little bit and actually add a pathway in. Uh, so we're going to have this staircase in, which of course goes up and then in. Uh, and I think what I want to do is have a little pathway down here on this level so that that staircase can potentially go up to a higher level and then this can stay on this lower level and potentially even go even lower i mean there's plenty of space down here to use uh, of which actually i've been working down here a little bit let me give you a sneak peek yeah you see this stone circle here whoa oh hi um and then you see this yeah what might this be I, I, i'm not gonna tell you i'm not gonna tell you i was gonna tell you and then i decided no you know what i'm not i'm not i'm not telling you i'm not telling you either mr skelly bob in fact you're gonna you're gonna die yeah, I ain't got time for you, mate. Um, but yes, uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be a just a project for quite far in the future. <laughs> I'm trying to plan the base a little bit ahead. Anyway, uh, yes, so I'm going to probably start on this side over here. I'm probably going to have to clear out some space here eventually as well, but I think I'll leave that for another time. But let's make a doorway, uh, maybe quite a tall one, maybe to there. Uh, continue this roof along and maybe add a building there and there too and um, i'll come back to you guys when i've done some of the uh the the, the work needed for that and ow he shot me in the neck <laughs> that's that's not good right well uh, most of it's been put in um there's going to be i mean it's really hard to show this side let me show the other side actually because it is a little bit more open this side actually might be the side to watch and um <laughs> the other side yeah this side's way this side's way more open this side's way more open this makes a lot more sense i'll chop down those trees as well uh so we can see this so this is going to be the entrance way um i thought it kind of looked quite cool with a, a lot of pillars going through it and then it'll be big and open you can see whatever's inside which by the way still haven't come up with the interior i kind of want something that's going to juxtapose this style i wanted like i was gonna go sci-fi but then I, I i can't decide how to do that same with steampunk so i don't know maybe i need a different genre maybe i need a different idea i don't i don't know i was gonna try and come up with some fun lore with the whole like why there might be sci-fi stuff inside my why why it, it's got this exterior i don't know anyway just an idea for you guys if you can come up with anything better than i have um anyway don't wait there uh there's gonna be a small little building here roof which is gonna be diagonal there which is why these are back one and then um another building up there um and i think what i'm gonna do is yeah copy that roof this side so it's exactly the same um because i think that'll look quite nice that'll be nice and structured yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do it uh it's very very hard to explain what i'm doing when i'm not actually doing it and i'm just pointing at things you, you bet you better watch me actually do it so let's roll that time lapse
Oh man, there's something about time lapses for me that I just love. I actually just watched my uh, time lapse back like uh, you guys will have done. If you've made it this far into the video, then um, thank you. Um, but yes, I love them. Dude, I, I bop my head to it. I'm like, you know, it's also kind of fun as well. Uh, when I build these roofs in particular, and well, actually the walls too, I do, I, I build it in like a zigzag pattern. I, I go back and forth like a typewriter, um, <laughs> which I find hilarious to watch. Anyway, um, uh, it's like watching like a, like a little mouse scurry back and forth. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, here is what I have. I've, I, I feel like I've built quite a lot. I built this section and then these two. And uh, these two are going to be uh, actually um, square uh, rooms at some point. Um, in fact, a lot of a lot of this can have the potential to be rooms. Like if you continue one of these squares into like a cube, like this, like this, like this could be a room. If you if you build in the walls of that section there, that becomes a room. Uh, so uh, this one, for example, too. But that's also because I kind of want this roof to go back down and then back up again. I kind of decided that you know what, I should probably start focusing a little bit on moving inwards a little bit even if i'm not actually to build in the interior i should move inwards and actually block out some rooms so that's what that's what this is all about um and actually sort of plan ahead a little bit oh i didn't quite finish this roof oh my bad i kind of thought i was done okay well i guess i've got an extra roof to do man i do go through a lot of resources building this i don't know what what happened but i feel like resources are getting harder and harder to gather that might be me though but what i'm gonna do is actually connect this road with this road i think i'm gonna do a straight path and then a straight path just to mix up the uh, there's a lot of circles going on and there's a lot of squareness to this so i think let's square this off let's come straight here with some stone straight that way and i think i'm going to use the carpets and keep it quite simple but it'll also bring over some lighting to that section because it's quite dark and terrifying at the moment especially at night time i'm in a bit of a standoff um <laughs> i literally just stopped in my tracks and they haven't done anything it's like they're frozen hello are we are we okay? these guys keep spawning they keep spawning over there and then coming this way but these guys have spawned this side um for once um says i i need to get past at some point um let's go get some jack-o-lanterns don't mind me i'm just gonna yeah you you protect the but you protect the base why why not <laughs> why not go go right ahead well after that i'm uh looking a bit more messy than i was before <laughs> Look at me. I just I just let them shoot me because I was like, oh, they won't they won't be too much of an issue and then um Well, they 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 were so I pushed them down. I pushed them down a hole and I've now flown away and then come back to get some uh, Get some of this carpet and I think they've despawned so sh we should be okay Yep, yeah, they're no longer down here. Good good. Well that that keeps happening So maybe maybe they're part of the story if they keep appearing here <laughs> They need to be part of the law, but yeah, there we go oh, that does that does that look good? Will that look good both sides eventually? <gasps> oh my goodness, dude! If I build that that side, this thing's gonna be huge. Why did I not realize that it was gonna? Why does that look? Cute? That looks like double the size. That, that you know what? This is double the size. If I build that that side too, I'm gonna build it in a second just to see how many resources I have. Um, this is good. This is. Uh, let's just hope it's in proportion enough to be up there. I think it's going to be up, up about there. So this is th basically this middle section from there. You see, you see where I've left the gap there. Bit doing a taller building there, and then it was going to go up and then up and then, well, I guess down and then to that. So yeah, hopefully, at least on the diagonal, it'll look quite good. How does it actually look from down here? Because I think diagonally here is going to be potentially where my portal will end up. Yeah, that's quite good. Why did it? Why is there a drown somewhere? I just had a drowned change from zombies drowned. Yeah, this will look nice. I mean, it's a shame you can't see the roofs that clearly from down here, but uh, everyone's got wings. Everyone's got wings. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, and I've also speaking of speaking of uh, fine. Um, <laughs> I've been planning a little uh, idea down here. I don't know if I showed you this pathway, but I basically decided to build a what five long half slabbed pathway to see where it get comes to and i think what i'm going to do here is build a big entrance building uh, i should probably mark it out actually and just reserve the area just so no one builds on this side of the uh, mountain but i just have in my head a building here and then yeah i was gonna use this uh, I, I really still want to use this for something not the entrance, but I feel like it needs to be something. This is technically not part of Iskals either. Iskals a bit further that way. 
So I could put something in here, but I don't know what. It seems such a shame to have such a gigantic, amazing cave system right below. Where does it come out? It comes out... Wait, where am I? Oh, it, oh, it comes out next to here. Oh, this can be a bridge then. This can be a swinging bridge or something. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. The caves, the caves must be used for something. Even if I have just some sort of creature sleeping down there. I feel like a dragon sleeping down there would be kind of cool, right? Um, I don't, I don't, I have no, dragon's nest. Do dragons have nests? <laughs> I have no idea. All the ideas are coming, coming into my brain and then back out again. And I'm, I have no time to figure out if it makes sense or not. <laughs> so my brain works sometimes. Um, but yes, anyway, uh, quite happy with this. I think I'm just going to continue the leaves along. Um, just to tie it into this section a little bit more. And I think it'll be kind of cool. So, uh, I'm liking it. And honestly, from up here, this looks pretty great. Once the grass is all grown, I kind of like it. I feel like we need something there and there. It's not really big enough for a statue, though. But what's quite nice is this path has the potential to go this way, which is nice because that is the direction of my factory. Quite a long way that way, but uh, a pathway to join the two would be amazing eventually. But it'll definitely have to be a live stream project, I feel like, because that's going to take a long while to dig out and go through mountains and and find a cool pathway and make it look good oh man maybe i'm am i, am I taking on more than i can shoot i mean <laughs> the back of this is a mess man i feel like i've got more tidying up to do than anything anyway i'm gonna try and get as much of this done as i can in the next you know what i'm gonna give myself an hour I'm gonna give my, myself a solid hour i'm gonna go grab a drink grab some food and see how much of this i can build in an hour we're gonna go super fast mode and uh do it all do it all and hopefully, an hour. I, don't, I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm going to have to be really on it and maybe take my shock boxes with me up there. That might be the quicker way of doing it. Let's give it a go. Well, other than a few blocks here and there, like those sea lanterns up there, which I've run out of, which is so sad, it is done. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's no, and it's done. But you know what I mean? It's it's done. It's done. Uh, this stage of this build is done. And I am pretty happy with it. I, I feel like I have to just always have the aerial view to really see how it looks because otherwise it's quite difficult to, 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 to tell you know if i'm down there i can't really see so i've got to come up here oh you know what this is the perfect it's the perfect viewpoint i mean it's kind of a shame that it's getting dark although you can see how i've lit up the roofs quite nicely i mean there are some rogue torches but the rest i lit up purely with the sea lanterns you can see this side's definitely more complete. But yeah, you can see how the sea lanterns just 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 enough to light up the roofs. Um and actually probably now, in fact, let me try this out with the uh whole change to light levels. If I press H on my keyboard, yeah, I've now installed this. Just allows me to make sure that things aren't spawnable. Yes, they are not. Uh which is kind of nice, right? Like I don't need to light this up. Um, even though the light is only coming from below, which usually wouldn't light this up enough, I don't think. It probably wouldn't have enough light up here. Here, things would spawn but as it looks like uh we should be good and that is a uh, great news that will save me doing too much although i will probably still have to put string on the roofs if i wish them to not get snowed on i haven't decided yet i quite like the snow but i also don't like the snow if it's patchy Oh, and for those wondering how long that took me uh, to mostly complete this, only 50 minutes. My, uh, uh, I mean, I say that, there's still bits <laughs> over here. Probably where I once run out of, um, I think I run out of smooth uh, quartz at some point. I've actually got some on me, so I should be able to fix that right now. But yeah, it's only been 50 minutes. Uh, that's the difference between recording it at every section and doing a proper time lapse versus just just straight up building and having all the resources at, at your disposal if you don't have the resources it makes it 10 million times harder hence why there is still a lot of dirt blocks everywhere where i've run out of things <laughs> yep just ignore those those definitely won't be there accidentally for a few weeks <laughs> Well, now those are done. There's one last thing I want to do today, and that is check for diamonds in my shops because have I got an ender chest here? I don't. I, th I swear I had one there. No, I just came out of the place with the ender chest. In fact, I've only got one upstairs at the moment. Oh, no, I should... You know what? I'm going to install a bunch of ender chests just in my base, I think. Uh, yeah, I have, I, have, I, have zero di I have zero diamonds. I'll spend them all, okay? I spent them all on the prank for a zoom just so I could get that done quickly. Ah! Anyway, yeah, let's go to our shops and check if we've sold anything. I'm going to guarantee the copper has sold nothing, 
but I believe the glass may have. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, I guess. Oh, and let's quickly check in on Copy. He's doing great. He's he's turned almost green at this point in time, but um in fact maybe 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 the other bits have been waxed. Oh wait, no. Wait. He's partly made of granite! I didn't realise he's partly made of granite and dripstone as well. Anyway, glass shop, here I come. And we're gonna enter from below. Wee beautiful. I still need to finish this shop. Why why is see Nat see this is why? This is why. This is why there are torches down. Because I guarantee if I do this, it's too dark. Wait! Wait, it's actually not too wait, no, it is still, still too dark. Yeah, no, it's too dark. <laughs> Dang it, okay. We're almost there with the lighting. I think I just need a bit of lighting somewhere. Uh, guys, let me know how you think I should do the lighting. I, I also feel like I need lighting over here. Because you can't see what you're buying anyway. Okay, whatever. Diamonds is what we're here for. Let's see. I've done... There's a lot that I need to restock. Oh, someone has bought like grey. Nice, nice. And the black. Beautiful. Always a popular option. One of the greens. One of the cyans. Interesting. I wonder what someone... I wonder who's been... Hmm. I wonder who's uh, bought some. Although... Although they put... They put one diamond in each. Yeah, they are two diamonds per, st per stack. Don't quite understand that logic, but I've taken the diamonds out now, so I, <laughs> I guess um, I guess they got them half price. Why do people not read signs? Two, two. That's one. Cause I, granted, I do need to restock. But that's that's just making me think I need to restock ASAP and then put it down to one diamond per stack. What do we think? Is that a good business decision? I don't know. I don't know how popular glass is going to be. Anyway, with those six diamonds now, we have six diamonds to spend. Uh, what are we going to spend it on? I have no idea. In fact, though, I was going to have a look because there is a bit of competition over here that has appeared. Here's somewhere I'm not going to be spending my diamonds. It's a honey shop. <coughs> Ignore the giant bee over there. Uh, there is a panda. They're, they're, they've technically got a better position as well. This build's amazing. I actually don't know who built it. I want to say Hypno built it, but... Oh, I actually haven't seen a video out. But yeah, they haven't done too much business. They've only done the beehives. Okay. So that might be a... Uh, that might actually be a bad side for selling wax in general. Or stuff to wax. Um, yeah, okay. And... Oh! Spoilers, someone is building <laughs> summon <someone> there. <laughs> um... You know what, that reminds me, I need to reserve some of the area around here to expand this place. And absolutely, yeah, no. Haven't sold any in there. Are we surprised? Oh, and I still haven't come up with anything for the interior in here. I I work on it. I like the ideas that you guys came up with to do with honey blocks on the ceiling and, and sort of sliding down them. Because uh, honey blocks are really, really fun to slide down. But I don't know how that's going to work with a shop so mm, i don't know maybe maybe we'll come up with something uh but yeah as you can see lots still to do but that's gonna be it for this episode guys that's what happens when you build big every episode uh it slows you right down but um i will i will do things i will finish things don't worry but guys thanks so much for watching if you like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys all in the next episode see ya